We want you to beat him. Maryland police, seen in body camera footage, handcuffing five-year-old boy. Please, please, for fuck's sake, please don't let the police officers be white. Pretty please, pretty please, pretty please. Let's get straight to the video. For fuck's sake, please don't let him be white. And officers screaming at and handcuffing a five-year-old boy. It happened last year. CBS's Michael George has the story. How old are you? Five. Five. A five-year-old boy who ran away from his Maryland school is found by two officers. Back at school, the boy continues to cry. And one officer gets in his face. Calling him a little beast. This encounter happened last January, but the 51-minute body camera video was just released Friday by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. When the boy's mother arrives, both officers encourage her to beat her son. Yeah, we want you to beat him. You're talking about getting him a... a... I, can't, I can't beat him. Why? Because I'm not going to prison. You don't go to prison for beating your child. <laughs> She's now suing the Montgomery County police officers, the county, and the school district. The lawyers claim the boy suffered emotional trauma. There is a certain way to treat a five-year-old boy. Needing to beat him, like I said, came up at least 15, perhaps up to 20 times. The video also shows the officers handcuff the child in front of his mother. You know what these are for? In front of the mom. These are for people that don't want to listen and don't know how to act. He was released about a minute later. But over and over again, they encouraged the mother to physically discipline her child. All I can tell you is beat that ass. You can't beat your child. In Montgomery County. In front of him and everybody else. You can beat him. And please Just don't leave no cuts. Yeah. Or no crazy cigarette burns or nothing like that. Exactly. We good. All right? Meeting adjourned. The Montgomery County Police Department says it has investigated the incident, but hasn't released the findings. Both are still sworn officers, according to the department. Videos what you came for. What they didn't mention, would it change your take on the situation? They just told you, oh, well, he ran away from school. Now, I don't know the extent of the damage, but I saw on the local news here that he smashed up a computer in class. Then he ran away, not knowing fully the situation, but he did damage a computer in the classroom. Probably got disciplined then by the teacher. Then he ran away. Does that change your opinion at all as far as how the officers were trying to guide the mother? We have a lot of strong feelings on this on both sides. Right? The old heads like myself will agree with that officer. Say you need to beat that ass if your kid is turning into a beast. Young, more feminized, weaker individuals and not knocking you individuals out there if that's the case. will say, well, there's alternate ways you can like put a dunce cap on his head and put him in a corner or, like, put him on a timeout or, like, make sure he doesn't get any snacks for, like, two whole days and then he'll learn his lesson. I think that the solution is somewhere in the middle. Obviously, you don't want a parent wearing that ass out all the time. <laughs> but a child needs some kind of stern parenting in the household. When they act foolish, kids act up, obviously. And I don't have any myself, so this is just speaking about my opinion, my childhood, and everything like that. Kids act up. We get into trouble. We get into mischief. It's what we do. Most of us don't smash up computers in our classroom at age five. Maybe we advance to that stage at 15, but for a five-year-old to do that, and this is what it was in one of the other video clips that I saw because they said there it's a 51-minute body cam video. The question was asked by the officer, how does the kid become this way to begin with? What kind of kid at five thinks that this is okay or doesn't think that there will be repercussions for their actions? Is that mother the only parent in the household? As I said in my video yesterday, need two of them to help guide the kid right. The yin and the yang. The compassion, of course, but then the strength as well. 
whatever form that comes in, whatever kind of hybrid mix that those two parents come in, you definitely need that compassion, as I said, but toughness as well. Now, in my house, when I was young, brief stories about the beatings I took, I turned out okay. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. PTSD flashback. I thought the mom was throwing a shoe at me or something. You see how the mother trying to sue here. First off, before I get into my story, but I was thinking about this as I was out jogging earlier because I knew I was going to do this video. I was thinking, well, how about we come up with this solution for the lawsuit? First of all, I think it's BS, obviously, but how about this? If the kid, we like to get creative with the solutions, if the kid doesn't get into any trouble by the time he's 18, graduates high school, $100,000. Further, if the kid doesn't get into any trouble and graduates from college, let's give him five years after he graduates high school because, you know, sometimes we hit bumps in the road. I had to take a semester off when I was going through junior college myself. Why don't we then add another hundred on top of that? That's the carrot. Potential for 200K if the kid can graduate by 23 or 24. Keeps his nose clean, doesn't get into any trouble from age five until 23. How does that solution sound? Now, obviously, we shouldn't have to be bribing people, but to just throw money at this family? Is the kid going to learn, or could the kid have learned from this? This could have been a great teaching lesson here from the mother to the child. If you act up again, then I'm going to take you right back over to those officers who are encouraging me to beat that ass. And that's what my mom did. When I was acting a fool, when I was 13-ish, I want to say, don't exactly recall the age, but I was acting up. I was acting stupid, threatening to run away and be an idiot. My mom drove me to the county jail, said, get the fuck out. That's what she did. Get out. Get out of the car. You think you're bad? Get out of the car now. You know what I did? <laughs> Cried like a bitch. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'll be good. Hey, no lie. It didn't totally set me straight, but it helped get me on that road. I wasn't out there doing dangerous things, so to speak, but I was being stupid, stealing stuff, being mouthy, just being a ridiculous teen. It took me a few years to fully get out of that. But I think that event kind of set me on the road or on the path. That event set me on the path towards kind of getting it together and saying, hey, I'm acting stupid. As kids, though, it takes us a while. So back to my story real quick. Mom used to handle the discipline, spoons, belts, whatever she could find. Dad was more stern, but never handled the discipline. There was one time, however, when I was in fear of that was my mom... <laughs> I finally got big enough to where she couldn't manhandle me anymore. <laughs> and so she was coming at me and a little hip toss, took her down, sat on her. And this was when my dad was in another room. I can't recall what he was doing at the time. He might have been outside. She came at me, hip toss, as I said, sat on her. <laughs> That's all I did. Didn't touch her. Didn't smack her around. I mean, come on. I was, again, I was young at the time. Again, it was that path of evolution. And my father came along. And boy, woo, woo. I thought I was going to get it. Because you come in and see what you see. Obviously, he tossed me off. Hands up, baby. Like, I didn't touch her. She tried to come at me. And hip toss, took her down. And that's all. And fortunately... The mom fessed up and, and said I didn't put hands on her. So, whew, because <laughs> that situation could have got a little rough. But that was one of the last times she tried to come at me. And again, it was in that same age range, 13, 14, 15, where it took me learning how to not act like an idiot, not to be a punk and not to be stupid, kind of grow out of those kind of things. So anyway, that's all I got. Let me know what you think. Do you beat your kids? If not... You need to find these officers. They'll let you know. Montgomery County, it's okay to beat that ass. Take care, everybody. Be well.